ready for the trail <laughs> with the food. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and we're here in Rockwood Park. Hi guys, are you one of MBCC's incoming international students? If you are, comment below as I'm so excited for you taking this new journey. In this video, I'll be answering your most frequently asked questions about MBCC. And without further ado, let's begin. Let's go guys! Is NBCC a designated learning institution? Yes, NBCC is a designated learning institution that offers post-graduation work permit or PGWP and this is the most question that I receive um, often from most students and can even confirm and check this through the federal website of Canada. So how is the program delivery and what time classes starts and ends? Most programs of NBCC are now delivered in blended format which means some of your classes will be delivered in person at your specific campus and online or virtually using the learning management system tool of NBCC called Brightspace and MS Team. Regular classes starts uh, from 8.30 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. from Monday to Friday or uh, some exceptions may apply depending on your program. With that, your scheduled part-time work should start at least 5 p.m. onwards. That's a tip. How many semesters in NBCC? Academic terms are recognized as a summer from June to August, uh, fall from September to December, winter from January till mid-April, uh, spring from mid-April till June. Depending on your program, normally you will take two terms. Fall and winter are the regular intakes of NBCC. Do you pay tuition fee per term? As a full-time international student, normally you will only pay for two terms, fall and winter intakes. If you have uh, spring intake classes as part of your program, you don't have to pay for it. However, depending on the program and offering, summer term may require additional tuition and other student fees. What is the best location or campus um, of NBCC? I would say it depends on your program of choice. NBCC has six campus, namely Moncton, Miramichi, Fredericton, Woodstock, St. John, and St. Andrews. All of these locations offer work opportunities. Does NBCC have a housing rental for international students? Well, I wish they would, but they don't offer that. It would be nice if NBCC has a housing rental, but it is sensitive to talk about. This is becoming an issue as an international student because how are you going to start with that? a roof over your head, right? International students are responsible for finding their place to stay and I recommend to start looking ahead, like literally start negotiating three to four months ahead if possible. NBCC has a listing of housing options that you may take advantage of to start communicating with the owners or landlords. Let's say finding housing in that listing option um, that NBCC has on their website is not enough or you have contacted everyone in the list and still nothing then I will recommend to um, join Facebook pages or groups specific in your campus or location that you are interested in and post the need of accommodation in that groups or um, forums that um, you join. That's another good way to get settled. Does NBCC help in finding you a job? They do job assistance but not job assurance here. NBCC hold job fairs too at school and if you're lucky too, there are instructors who are very helpful and will show you job openings. There are a lot of businesses in every industry right now in general that needs to be filled here. So if you're asking for job opportunities, there are tons. You just have to know your preferences in applying for a job. Next is does NBCC do credit transfer or recognize previous studies? Yes, they do. They call it RPL or recognition of prior learning. Um, it has two ways actually for you to be awarded credit towards uh, your program at NBCC. They call it the credit um, transfer and the second one is credit equivalency. And you can check the details of this too in the NBCC website. Does it save you tuition costs when you apply for a credit? No. The answer is no. So obtaining a credit through RPL or recognized learning 
um, recognize prior learning does not reduce your tuition fee or shorten the length of your program as an international student. In fact, it will just give you a lighter course load each term and your full-time tuition fee will still remain the same. Does applying for scholarship or series awards affect your post-graduation work permit application? The answer is no. As long as it's not related to GAC or Global Affairs Canada, then you have nothing to worry about. You can even check the details of ineligibility of post-graduation work permit through the federal website of Canada. And if you're planning to apply for scholarship bursaries and awards, you have to make sure that it's not affiliated or associated with GAC. And when is the last date to commence classes? So students cannot commence classes later than the first week in the academic term. And no extensions will be entertained. Meaning that you have to be physically here. I mean, in school, of course, or at NBCC during the classes within a week. So if you arrive the second week of your classes or of your intake, then it will be an issue. And that's it guys if you have any more questions that i didn't mention in this video feel free to comment below who knows i might do a second part of this video and again thank you so much for your support um, don't forget to hit like comment and share this video guys see you in my next video with much love bye gabi na kapagod pala mag maglakad sa trail guys <laughs> Hindi mo na ako napagod actually Kumain lang ako eh Ang <laughs> ah, Beautiful And that's the Lily's Lake